jumping back and forth as quickly as they can, trying to beat out their record in 10 seconds. Time's up. These kids are hopping to a healthier, more active lifestyle. It's not just about exercise. It's about making healthy choices every day. These families are learning what that healthy lifestyle looks like through MEND. The program focuses on mind, exercise, nutrition and do it. It's added sugars or natural sugars. So Instructor Jillian says this isn't a dieting program. It's about educating people to make the right healthy choices. There's a certain amount that this is a genetic component, but there's a lot to be done for lifestyle choices. Families learn how to properly read food labels and what foods are men friendly. In this session we actually talked about looking at the fat grams in foods and looking at the sugar grams in foods and starting to understand whether or not that's something we want to be eating. Each child in the program gets their own men detective card. I'm going to use mine to figure out what foods are healthy or unhealthy. So let's try something like this that says it's natural and made with real fruits. But let's see if it meets men's standards. We'll check the serving size. It's 21 grams. So let's check the fats. No fats, which is good. It had to be less than three grams of fat. But now let's check the sugar. The sugar says that it's 13 grams, which is way over our three gram limits. So step four is check the ingredient list. So our third ingredient on here is cane sugar, which is straight up sugar and is unhealthy for us. So this natural, healthy snack doesn't meet men's standards. The food manufacturers have gotten a little bit sneaky. They put labels on foods that make us think they're healthy and things like, you know, the words smart or the word, you know, blatantly the word healthy. And, and as a as consumer, we need to actually be looking at our nutrition facts. We need to be looking at our ingredients labels and being educated about what are in foods. And ideally looking at when we go to the grocery store, choosing those whole foods, those things that are on the Canada's food guide and really starting to look really um, constructively at whether those processed foods or those things that have ingredients labels that have a nutrition facts on them are those the things that we want to be choosing. You might think you know about nutrition it's such a simple thing but it's actually not. We know that pizza is not healthy but that particular example is the vegetarian pizza so even that alone it may be because of the cheese and because of the fat of the cheese that's the reason why it didn't make it friendly but it's not necessarily that you cannot eat it totally you just have to portion it. We don't want to put our kids on diets. That's not, that's not healthy, it's not healthy for adults either. What we want to look at doing is making consistently healthy choices. Everything in moderation is okay. The Herrera family joined men to encourage each family member to actively participate in their lifestyle choices. It's for everybody, it's a family thing. It's not just for us, it's not just for them. And that's why everyone is supposed to be involved. Once they're involved, and then it's better. By giving children a seat at the table, they are more likely to learn how to make healthier choices in their adult lives. Statistics Canada reports 29% of children are at an unhealthy weight. That number is continuing to rise. This becomes a domino effect. Obese children often grow up to be overweight adults. I think if we can address it from, a, from the prevention standpoint or dealing with it before it becomes a bigger problem for adults, I think it can really help um, kind of curb the trend. Stopping that trend can start today. Men suggest families follow the 5-2-1-0 rule. Five servings or more of veggies or fruit, two hours or less of screenplay, one hour of exercise, and zero sugar sweetened beverages. In Nanaimo, I'm Rayanne LaPlante.